Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl. It's real easy. Super easy. It'd be good for a beginner. As long as you know how to do double crochet, you'll be able to make it. What it is, it's one big triangle. Okay, for this project, I am using shawl and a ball. This was donated to me by Katrina. Thank you very much. I've never used this before and I'm really excited to use it right now. So I'll see if I can make something pretty out of it. Or I'll try. Um, it is just a medium weight four ply. It's a cotton acrylic blend. You don't have to use this. Um, I'm sure any four ply you are and will work the same if you can't find this. And there are 518 yards. Is that showing up there? 518 yards in this skein. And I'm just going to use the one skein then. Since it's called Shawn the Ball, I'm going to make something just out of this one skein. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with the slip knot on your hook. This is the first time I've used this yarn. I really like it. I think it's pretty. It's not really hard to work with either. you think it would be being this dainty, but it's really not. Okay, you want to start off with a chain of four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put one double crochet into the back into the very first stitch. So we're just going to yarn over and go right down to that very first chain that we made or that very first stitch and double crochet in it. Just like that. So if you look, we have that one double crochet we did, and then this chain right here is going to count as a double crochet. So it's like we have two double crochets there. So now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now I'm going to work right back here in this very, very same stitch, and I'm going to work two double crochets into that same stitch. Two double crochets. So there's one and two and then this little chain here that is on the end um, get right in the top of it and put two double crochets into that one. So right here in this top stitch of it and we'll put two double crochets there. So there's one and two. You can kind of pull your tail there and that'll make that circle down here close up a little bit. Now we're going to chain one and turn. And the very, very first stitch right here, we're going to put two double crochets in it. So there's one and two. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in these next two stitches, just one in each of them. So there's one in that one, and then I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to put one double crochet in that one. And now in the last stitch, right here, I'm going to put two double crochets in the last stitch. So right there. Two doubles. One and two. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. Okay, again, I'm going to start off by putting two double crochets into this very, very first stitch. Two doubles into the very, very first one. So there's one and two and now I'm going to work my way across putting one double in each of the remaining stitches until I get to the last one and the last one will have two doubles in it. So one double in every stitch across here until you get to the last stitch of the row.
and then I'm at my last coming up to my last stitch and you want to make sure you get it it's right here on the very end you can see it right there and I'm gonna put two double crochets into the last stitch like that and now again I'm just going to chain one turn my work and I'm going to work two double crochets into the very very first stitch one and two and now it's one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your last stitch one in each stitch And when you get to the last one, make sure you always get the last ones right here on the very end. And you put two into that last one. And now it's, it's just kind of repeating this the whole way. You chain one and you turn. And it's two double crochets in the very, very first stitch of every row and then it's one double crochet in every stitch across and then it's two double crochets in the very last stitch and it's super easy in every row it just gets it gets, gets a little bit bigger on each end because you increase only on the ends so two doubles in the very first one one double in every stitch across two doubles into the last you chain one and turn, two doubles in the very first one, one double every stitch across, two doubles in the last, and you just keep working across. Okay, I I went I did a, I was able to do 57 rows with that type of yarn that I used, the shawl and the ball, but and that took pretty much the whole skein. I had a little bit left, but now if you're using a different kind of yarn, you can always do more rows if you want to make it bigger. That's completely up to you. But once you get that done, you just tie off and you hide your tails. And that is it. It's so easy. And it, this yarn is really, really pretty. And you can wear it as a shawl. Or you can wear it as a cowl. I don't have very much workspace, but I'm just going to take it and fold it over. Down here is where I started. You can see there's my starting tail, and that's going to be the small end. And then I'll just put it on my mannequin like this. This will be in front. And this will wrap around the back of the neck. And then you can hook it up here with a shawl pin or some type of brooch like that. That's one way you can wear it. Or you could wear it like a regular shawl. Or you could wear it. This could go into the front. And you can wrap this part around the back of your neck and put um, a tie back there. But you can wear it all sorts of ways. But that's it. That's all there is to it. It's really easy, and if you make this, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. I'll um, also put a link to my Etsy shop, and you can follow me on Pinterest and Twitter. I'll put links to all that stuff below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.